Hello everyone, it's Becky Bamboo. Long time no see. I know. So today is Monday, August 31st of 2015. Um, wow, August is almost over, right? We're going to be in fall before long and uh, crazy to me. Crazy how fast time's going. Um, I've been MIA for far too long and um, I'm coming back. I'm coming back to do at least weekly videos, if not maybe more, um, depending on what I'm inspired to talk about or not. Um, and then, um, so let me explain why, I guess. Let's start there. So the last uh, couple years for me has been been a rough go of things. I have a, my son is now three. Um, he turned three last week on Friday. Uh, I have a daughter who's six months old already. And um, so, the last um, couple years for me has just been a blur. It's been busy with keeping kids and getting through a pregnancy that was very difficult. My pregnancy with my daughter, I was really had really high blood pressure through uh, most of it and had to be off work. And um, finally got back to work in April, and things were kind of starting to settle down. Let's be honest. When you have a baby, your life is anything but settled for a while. It takes a while. Um, you know, you're up and down all night long every night for a long time and then they finally start sleeping through the night and you finally start to kind of catch up and feel human again but there's always new challenges you know about the time they start sleeping through the night they start teething and then they're upset again and um, like my son my daughter has had horrible ear infections and we had at four months old we had to have her get tubes put in her ears which was the best decision that we've made so far <laughs> as parents um, we waited way too long with my son and I was just I, I vowed I wasn't doing that with her. She's going to get them early. If if she starts to show um, continuous ear infections, we're going to get it taken care of right away. And we did. And she's been a much happier baby. Um, at six months old, she can roll both ways, front to back, back to front. Um, she almost sits up by herself now. She has two teeth already. Her two bottom teeth are in. And, um, you know, life's good with her. So... Um, when I went back to work in April, we were still kind of in that fighting mode, you know, like I had her in February, so she was still not sleeping through the night, but we were getting longer stretches, which was great. And, um, anyway, um, in the beginning of June, I made a pretty critical error at work and, uh, it really, it were, truthfully, it really wasn't my fault. It was just being in the wrong place at the wrong time. And I got hurt and, and I've been battling this severe, severe pain ever since, um, I have seen a doctor for um, since that time, and I'm just now being referred to see a surgeon to hopefully fix the problem. Um, for a long while, when I first got hurt, I was uh, I've been off work, and I was told to um, not do a lot because um, I can't take anti-inflammatories because of my gastric bypass, and um, that meant that to get things to kind of inflammation to settle down, I had to rest. So I did that. All it got me was really depressed. Um, I My pain never really got any better. Um, it's still not any better. And um, so anyway, I digress. We, we move on. So um, over the last, uh, you know, several months, I have um, had a pretty significant amount of regain of my weight. Um, those of you who've watched me a long time know how, what the journey has been. Um, anybody who's new, you should know that I started um, pre-op. Um, my highest pre-op recorded weight was 424 pounds. And um, the lowest I ever got was 186. And that was before I got pregnant with my son, my first child. And I've been everywhere in between since then. Um, I got discharged with my daughter and then the very next day I got readmitted because of um, my high blood pressure. And then I got discharged again. And when I got discharged the second time, um, I came home and like the next week I weighed just to kind of see where I was because I was feeling really good. I, I thought, man, I, you know, my clothes are fitting really good. I'm looking really good. And um, sure enough, I was down to 212, which is the lowest I had been in quite a while. I was hovering about 220 for a long time. And... Um, so anyway, 212 felt great to me. I, I thought, man, this is this is really a good weight for me. And over the last couple months, I've ballooned up. I didn't know how much weight I had really gained. I really did not know. Um, I saw my doctor not long ago, and about a, I guess about three weeks ago, and she uh, she made note, you've gained some weight. And I said, yeah. And she wanted to know how much, and 
the answer I gave her was, I truly don't know. I haven't, I have not weighed. Well, um, so I weighed and it mortified me. Um, I have a digital, uh, not a digital, uh, an analog scale with the little, um, needle that goes around and, uh, it rested at uh, 249, just below 250, and uh, to see that 25 on the scale was devastating to me. And I think I went through a period for a few days of just like, oh, I give up. I just, I'm never going to win this battle against my weight. It's always going to be up and down and, you know, whatever. And, you know, it kind of just all of a sudden settled in with me that the number is the number that it is because I haven't been doing my part at all. Not at all. I've eat, been eating all day long. I've been eating crap all day long. And um, so I deserve for the scale to say what it says. Um, so I decided at that moment, it, I'm done with this. It's time to um, get back to basics and get my head back in the game. And because I'm off of work right now, I have absolutely no excuse. Most of the days uh, my kids are at daycare and I'm home alone. So there should be no reason for me to be... Um, not eating right. I have no excuse. It's not because I'm stressed. It's not because I am busy at work. It's none of that stuff. It's just because I haven't been mindful. I haven't been deliberate about um, maintenance. So here I am. I'm back into the fight of losing weight. Um, in some ways, I'm grateful for this because I truly needed a new challenge in my life. Um, not that, a, I mean, having two kids is definitely a challenge, but I needed something that's more personal about me. Um, I think it's a good reminder to myself that I have to be mindful to myself in order to take care of my children. So here I am. Now, I, it has, I kind of started um, chipping away at this about a week and a half, two weeks ago. And trying my best to get back to basics, including getting my water, you know, taking my vitamins, doing protein first, all that stuff. Um, vitamins are still have been hard for me the last um, year. And I'm so blessed that um, my my labs all still look great, despite the fact that I'm pretty sketchy with vitamins. I think some of that comes from the fact that I've had to take so much other medicine for so long that... Um, I just feel like I don't have any room and that, that like it almost makes me sick to think about having to take more pills. So shame, shame. I'm trying to get better at that too. Um, I'm getting my water in. I've been getting 101 ounces in a day and um, I, that ha that alone has made me feel so much better. I, um, I feel so much more clear headed um, than I have in a long time. So it's working. Um, today I got on the scale. I'm down to um, 239. So I've already lost 10 pounds of my regain, which is fantastic. That goes to show me, and that's why I'm making a video to show you that if you have regain, it's not, um, that's not your destiny. It doesn't have to be your destiny. Um, it can be just a bump in the road that we've hit and we can get it back off and move on. So that's what I'm doing. I'm working at it. I am um, fighting the head hunger, something terribly. I'm trying to get the carbs back under control because they've been way out of control for way too long. Ever since my first pregnancy, my carbs, carb eating has been out of control. Um, when I've been pregnant, I've had to eat carbs. I want to make that clear. Um, my blood sugar level would go all over the place, um, spike high, go low, if I did not eat some complex carbs. So carbs have kind of had to be a staple in my pantry um, because of pregnancies. Um, but now that I'm not pregnant, I don't have that excuse anymore, and I want them gone. I want most of the carb eating gone. I've never been a carb-free person. I don't believe that we should be carb-free. Um, I think carbohydrates have their purpose in our body. But I do think we need to be mindful of how much we're getting in carbs. Um, obviously, I've been drilled with protein first, so that's what I've gotten back to. I'm not a calorie counter. I never have been. I don't intend on starting now. Um, I've tried it a couple times, and it's just always just been really discouraging to me. So I'm, I'm avoiding that. But, um, you know, uh, getting back to basics is really the key to this. Um, I know somewhere in my house I have all of my paperwork, all of my books with my initial, um, you know, rules and all of that stuff in it. I can't find it for the life of me and I'm tired of looking for it. Um, I know what, what I've got to do and, um, 
so I've been doing it and guess what it's paying off it's paying off so um, I obviously I still have a ways to go right now I just I'm excited to think about getting back down to 215 that's uh, my first goal mark is 215 um, since I felt so good at 212 we will see um, where I feel good at now um, you know Will I ever get back down to 186? I really don't know. I really don't know if I want to get that small again. I was really looking kind of shrinkly and old and um, all of that. And my body shape has changed so much after having two children that I don't know. I'm just going to kind of feel it out. And I know people say, oh, well, you're just doing that because you don't want to do the work to get that low. No, it's not about that. It's just about being comfortable in my skin and what works best for my life. And... Um, the truth is, is I've seen myself pretty small and I don't, I didn't really like it. I did not really like it. I didn't feel like me being so, 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 so small. I would like to, um, to feel like myself and, and, um, you know, do what I've, what I've got to do to, to, to keep my weight just steady when I decide where that's at. So, um, so that's what I'm doing. Um, I don't, you know, I'm not here to, um, prove myself to anybody else other than myself. I'm here because this is what keeps me accountable to the world is I'm putting the number on video. I'm putting it out into the real world for other people to see. Regain does happen, unfortunately. It does. Um, and there's been a lot of people on YouTube along the, along the way that have had very good success and then have regained. And, you know, it I think truly um, we just have to uh, fight our way through this all the rest of our lives. It's always going to be a fight. Um, I don't have a lot of restriction if I don't eat protein first, if I don't eat high protein meals. If I eat high protein meals, I keep it in check. Um, for lunch today, I had one chicken breast. I love, I've, I just really love those uh, frozen pre-grilled chicken breasts. I think they're Tyson. Um, they have a nice seasoning to them. You throw them in the microwave for a minute and they're good to go. Um, you can, you know, do whatever you want with them. Make chicken salad. You can make a, um, a sandwich. You, wh whatever. I just like cutting them up and eating them plain. So I had that and um, a pre-measured container of green beans and a little bit of strawberries and blueberries. And that was my lunch today. So um, truly just being mindful of my portion sizes is um, helping so much, so, so much. And making sure I have adequate protein in those meals is what's making the difference in um, my snacking because I'm not feeling so hungry. And what I've been doing uh, when that head hunger hits, because it's it's what it is, it's head hunger, um, I've been just guzzling water like crazy. So for now, that's working. I know that will be limited um, until I get tired of drinking that much water. Um, and then I'll have to spice things up with, you know, water enhancers or, you know, whatever else I switching off with some decaf tea or something like that. But for now it's working and 10 pounds down and I am, you know, I'm ecstatic about that. So, so here's my mission is to be back, be back in this community, be back here to, um, get support. And, you know, if I, in the, in the process of bettering myself, help motivate somebody along the way or say something that means a difference to somebody, then wonderful. If not, I'm still here for me. I'm doing this for me. I need to make sure the world hears these crazy ass weights so that um, I have a place to go. I'm sure I'm not going to lose weight every week. It's not going to happen at five years post-op. But I still have to be accountable to what does happen at five years post-op. So um, that's what I'm here for. Um, I don't think there's much else to really talk about right now. I'm getting ready to go get on my treadmill and do my walking today. And, um, you know, if something along the week inspires me to do another video, I will. Otherwise, I will check in with you guys next week. Mwah. Bye!